Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com, and today I'd like to introduce you to the Fluke Deluxe Automotive Test Lead Kit, which consists of the leads, which these are five feet long silicone modular test leads. I'm going to show you the, more about them in just a moment. And it consists of six different sets of probes. Now, these are the kind of probes you really need working under the hood or under the dash. But also, they're perfect for working with electronics or home um, electrical. Let's start with the leads. The leads are five foot long for a reason. And that is because when you're working on cars, you need leads that are a little bit longer. You need to be able to trace down wires for continuity going from one place to another. And the five foot length is really good for that. And they are category three rated to 1000 volts and category four rated to 600 volts. Now I'll demonstrate what I mean by modular leads. You see, this is the black lead that is the common, and this is a Fluke 289, and say I would like to use the large alligator clips. Okay, so this just clips on there like that. Okay, so now I can use the large alligator clips, and since it's modular, I could go right over here to this Fluke 117 electrician's meter and that works just fine. And I could go over here to this uh, Fluke 325 clamp meter and that works just fine too. So I could use any of the uh, test probes with any of these meters. See, it's, that's what I mean by modular. These large alligator clips are very well insulated. In fact, they are rated category three to 1000 volts and category four to 600 volts. In an automobile, they are excellent for connecting to large terminals such as battery terminals. Here we have the Sure Grip insulated test probe set. And these are uh, rated uh, just like the, uh, the alligator clips. They're rated to 1000 volt, a category three and 600 volts, a category four. But you can take off these extenders. They call them probe tip extenders. They come right off and that's going to might be useful in certain uh, cases, but it's going to bump you down to category two uh, rating for 600 volts. And then if you don't need to take these off, it's best to leave them on for greater insulation. These probes are great for automotive work for doing tasks like testing fuses. Next I'll slip on what's called micro grabbers. Put that on right there and the black onto the black. These have a little hook. You, you pull back on this part of the probe and it exposes a hook and then you put a little uh, smaller wire in there and you release it and that grabs it. So those are called micro grabbers and they're really for use for smaller wires and they're fully insulated all the way to the tip there. So they are uh, category three to 1000 volts and category four to 600 volts. These probes are called insulated piercing clip set. And if you pull this back, you can see a stainless steel pin right there and if you put your wire okay you gotta back this out a little bit if you put your wire in here and let it go and then tighten it up okay you've pierced the insulation and the little stainless steel needle is poking into the copper so let's say you wanted to test for continuity. We'll put one right here. Now this could be many feet apart. Okay, then you tighten this up. Like that. And we'll put the red lead there and the black lead here. And I've turned on my Fluke 117 and I've put it to ohms and it's reading 0.2 ohms. Now if I turn it to continuity, there we go. It shows continuity. If I wanted to get a more accurate reading, 
I can use my Fluke 289 and it says that it's 0.15 ohms. To remove the insulated piercing clip set, just unscrew this portion right here, pull back this spring area, take it off, and I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to put on what is called an automotive back probe pin. There's five of them in the kit here. So just slip it on like that. Okay, and then you can just poke that through the insulation. You put this on continuity. And there you go, you get continuity. So the idea is you just poke this through the insulation to find continuity or voltage or whatever you need to find. So you get five of these. And you probably need five of them because they're, you could bend them or damage them in some way. So, so there's, there's four spares. And by the way, this is an example of how you can mix and match. You could have the uh, insulated piercing clip on one end and the back probe pin on the other. And it, it works just fine. So I can uh, take this off and I can show you. This is a smaller alligator clip so we can put that on it's, it's pretty similar to the grabber but it's uh, it's got an alligator clip and this is strong enough to you, you can put on a, a round a screw head which is it might be quite uh, useful and you just take that put it on put it right on there and you got uh, continuity so you take it off and there you go so that's your, your last set uh, right there. And th this is the smaller alligator clips. See, that's the smaller alligator clips. So there's your set. That's a really nice automotive set. And you can do all kinds of repairs and testing uh, with this set. This is supposed to be so small. This, the hole, they say it's self-healing. That hole is small, but I would put some liquid electrical tape on that little hole just to be sure. The set comes with a pouch that rolls up for easy storage. In conclusion, I think this is a fantastic quality set of leads and probes. I love the modular system which allows for quickly changing test probes. While I would never pierce a house wire, I do consider this a multi-purpose set which can be used for many applications. I'll put links in my video description for the Fluke Automotive Test Lead Set and for the various individual components such as the SureGrip Silicone Test Lead Set, the Insulated Piercing Clip Set, the Automotive Back Probe Pins, the Alligator Test Lead Set, the Large Alligator Test Lead Set, the Hook Clip Set, and I'll put links for the meters seen in this video. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.